It is a P3R, which is the group that runs the Pittsburgh Marathon oh, okay. and a few other races mm-hmm. because of it being 2020. Everything went virtual this year, literally because their first rate, the the, the, fir- the big first race they do is, of course, is the marathon in May. Mm-hmm. Had to go 100% virtual. The Liberty Mile, which is normally around this time, had to go virtual. Um, they're trying to go and do the Pittsburgh 10 miler, which is in early November. Fingers crossed, but they're giving a virtual option for that at least. Okay. But one thing they're doing is heavily supporting people and highlighting people doing virtual running. And unlike, let's say, technology conferences where most of the people attending are just attendees, they're not participants. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, where it's, oh, we'll make it easy. We'll have our, you know, 10, 20 speakers and they can interact with people. And most of the people who are participating in these running events are your participants. You know, the fact that you do have the marathon with on mar- on Sunday marathon morning, you got 20,000 people down there plus running the race. Um, and the, the one that's happened that just was scheduled to happen now was, and I'm burning the shirt here. The there Great Allegheny Passage Relay. I don't know how much you can see it here, but I got it. Uh, okay. Is the idea was it's basically if you know the um, the the trail that runs pretty much from downtown Pittsburgh to Cumberland, Maryland, is a vert. It normally up to, up to this year was a relay race. So every they had, um, I believe it's twenty five stages where you have a team of eight and everyone would run one stage, you get into a van, get moved to the next one, you take your turns running it. And it would run middle of the night. I never actually ran it. Um, but this year, because they said, well, obviously we can't do this. There's no really way to socially distance 